You're trying to malign Che Guevara. He's not like a responsible institutional socialist. No, he had fucking balls. And if Che was in fucking charge, the Soviet Union wouldn't have fucking collapsed. And we'd be fucking living in communism right now, bitch. Someone's in the show queue. Well, it better be someone trying to fucking debate. We are not here to waste time, now are we? We are definitely not here to waste time. Silverback, I doubt Silverback Bolshevik is here. Hots said something false and sad. Hello. Hello? Yes. Hello. What was false and sad? You were like, what'd you say? You were like, uh, Che Guevara said to hit the red button? Yes. I don't know. Joking? Was that like, was that a joke? Or? He did. He wanted to go to war. He, wa he wanted them to go to war. Says who? Uh, I don't know. Look it up. He said he wasn't What's scared. He said he wasn't scared of the atom bomb. That's what he said. He said, if we have to use the atom bomb, so be it. We're not scared if we get taken out. That's what he said. What's your source? Yeah, I'm looking it up. Okay. Che was... Che was furious. Okay, so... Che, this was like the first page on Google. It's like common knowledge. When no 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 no, the first thing on Google is always a lie. What are you talking about? Okay, so you want me to waste my fucking time and get you a, a source that we can agree on is a as a is a like credible source, right? I want the source of Che saying it. What do you okay. mean? I don't want uh, it through something else. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm not sure why anyone would lie about this. It's a very well known fact that Che was super pissed off that the Russians backed down and that if he was in charge, he would have fired the missiles. But I guess we're going to have to fucking, you know, find the actual source. So che, of, che Guevara, Bay of Pigs. Got a, yeah, time waster over here. Not time waster. You didn't do your own homework. You always tell Che Guevara, you not Bay of Pigs. What is it called? It was uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. Hey, I didn't... Oh, no, this dumb bitch. You didn't do your homework because you read something a long time ago and you didn't, like, recall the exact source. You dumb bitch. I didn't even fucking know, know you were going to come on stream today and fucking spurg, spurg out about this fucking thing. So, yeah, I'm going to need to have some time to fucking produce the source. I'm literally live right now. So, yeah. You're going to have to That's sit your funny. ass down. And... So, PBS is... I guess that's not a reliable source either, right? No, it's not. Okay. Well, a lot of these... So okay, why why are they lying about Che? Why are so many people lying about Che? Why are so many people lying about Bavar Che? Bavar became disillusioned with the Soviet Union, attacking Moscow on every international forum. After Khrushchev removed nuclear missiles from Cuba, Guevara questioned Moscow's commitment to international socialism. Do you deny that? Yeah, questioning Moscow's uh, whatever to international socialism because is they the removed nuclear saying, missiles I'm because they the because they removed the nuclear saying. missiles from Cuba. That doesn't that doesn't equal. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna bomb a London bomb Daily, 1962. Okay, someone in this chat has it. London Daily, 1962. Che Guevara. The someone the link London it in fact checking. Daily. Just link it in the fact checking for me because this is like super easy to find. But since I'm on fucking stream right now, it's like, and I have this dumb fucking VC distracting me, it's like uh, a lot worse. So Che made a statement in the London Daily. Che. Communists are rational. They're not like. Oh, okay, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, because you seem so. Listen, dumb fuck. You seem so committed to the idea that this did Why not happen. Why are you happen. calling me dumb? Because you, you are insisting this didn't happen and you don't even know whether it didn't happen or not. How do you know? How do you know Che didn't say you're, this? You're, you're right. I don't know he didn't. Okay, so I'm trying to get you I'm the source. You hey, hey, yeah. dumb bitch. I'm trying to get you the fucking source right now, but you're mouthing your cunty mouth off while I'm literally on Google, sweating, looking for this fucking source as fast as I fucking can. Chat, you guys fucking put it in fact checking so we can get this over with. Because I'm literally on like the, I'm literally just on Google and I'm control effing looking for the shit and it's been like two minutes. In an interview, Che Guevara gave a few weeks after the crisis to Sam Russell, a British correspondent for the Daily Worker. Guevara said that if the missiles had been under Cuban control, they would have fired them off. 
If the nuclear missiles remained, we would have used them against the very heart of America, including New York City. Che okay, so Che Guevara confided this to the London Daily Worker in November 1962. Thank you, chat. There you go. There's my source. It, simple as that. Hello? Uh, I don't know. I got to read that shit for myself. Where is it? Okay. But yeah. History. Where, where, where do you want me to post this? Okay. So somebody put it in fact checking. Uh, it's right there in fact checking. Go on the fact checking. It's right there. Fact checking. Oh, academia. EDU. Fidel Castro's dream of nuclear Armageddon. This says Fidel Castro. Um, so, what is this the one you're talking about? Fidel Castro's dream of nuclear Armageddon? There, that's one of the Google results, but there's plenty others. No, it's not. It's called Che Guevara, 39 Years of Hype, and it's on the History News Network. So, no, that's not the one. It's news. Look yeah, at the one pa paper wind also uh, shared one as well. Dude, this is this is common fucking knowledge that Che got mad at the Soviets for backing down. It's common fucking knowledge. I you are so that. fucking historically I illiterate. That. I know that. No, you don't. Okay, so insane. okay, no, no. Put two and two together. If Che was That's mad at the Soviets for backing down, does that or does that not mean he was committed? To, to having nuclear war if it was if it came to that instead of backing down no it doesn't. so so what is the solution except backing down what could the soviets have done except back down unless they wanted nuclear war what are you talking uh, talking about like defense what do you mean what are you talking about you dumb bitch the soviets had two options start a nuclear war or back down they backed down che got fucking mad at them so if che got mad at them which you agreed he got mad at them what was the solution for the soviets if Che was in charge, what would Che have done? If Che was in charge, he would have kept the nuclear missiles as a defensive deterrence against them. Okay, and that would have led to a nuclear war. Because, would, because, because the United States, because the United States was going to bomb Cuba and invade Cuba. Yeah, and then if it did, then out of defense, they have the, yeah, okay. Exactly. That's the same thing, you dumb bitch, because had the Soviets not backed down, that's what would have fucking happened. You can't say that's what it would have happened. You don't have a yes, it is! You, know you do not even know the history of the Cuban Missile Crisis now! You don't even know the history of the Cuban Missile Crisis now, do you? You think that if the Soviets hadn't backed down, the U.S. would not have attacked Cuba. Can you explain to me? No, no, I want to test your knowledge just so I know I'm not wasting my time. Do you actually know the details of the Cuban Missile Crisis? Do you actually know what happened? I mean, I'm not a freaking historian here, but like, yeah. Wait, but if you're not a historian, why did you clench your asshole and fucking squeal at me for saying something factually true about what Che said? I just, I don't know, I find it hard to believe that he would Why? Okay, so you're like, scratching your ass, and you find something hard to believe, so instead of doing research about it, you come to confront I me on VC. To, you come to, you come to confront me on VC and accuse me of a lie, instead of I doing the fucking to, research yourself. And the first hundred articles were all Huffington Post and da-da-da-da saying that Che Guevara was trying to hit the red button and kill everybody. You realize, like, you realize, the only people who would have gave Che that voice would be fringe sources because the Soviet, like the Cubans, were not going to say that about Che because the Cubans were aligned with the Soviets. Name only Gino Nerd can't fathom the levels of base the great the Cubans Cubans wouldn't say on. that about Che because they wouldn't lie. No, you dumb fuck. It's because Cuba was actually aligned with the Soviet Union in a way that Che didn't find favorable. Che was siding more with the Chinese during the Sino-Soviet split. Everybody fucking knows that. Che was extremely critical of the Soviets in ways that the Cuban government wasn't. So no, you're fucking wrong. Um, I'm not saying he wasn't critical. Let me tell you so what you are. You need to get those gorillas and sons out of your name. You are a pat sock dem. You're a fucking revisionist. 
You're not a goddamn Marxist-Leninist. You're a goddamn revisionist. You're a Pat Sock Dem. You're a Khrushchevite. And I don't know what the fuck you're here clenching your fucking asshole talking shit to me saying I'm lying is for. But you're trying to malign Che Guevara. He's not like a responsible institutional socialist. No, he had fucking balls. And if Che was in fucking charge, the Soviet Union wouldn't have fucking collapsed. And we'd be fucking living in communism right now, bitch. You think if Che was in charge, he would have nuked America? Yes. And then that would have led to the Soviet Union taking over? Yes. 1,000%. Just like Mao said, they outnumbered them numerically in terms of population. So in an event of nuclear Armageddon, the whole socialist bloc would have been victorious. And you think that the... Um means justify the ends uh and ain't nothing got to be justified this is the nature of this brutal fucking world and the minute you back down in a confrontation and you blink in the name of morality or in the name of being responsible like a fucking cuckold you have just given your ball sack to the enemy the americans didn't want to fucking back down why did the soviets have to back down why did the soviets have to submit to the fucking americans and back down why wasn't the why wasn't it the americans who backed down Every cook right. says, I'm going to be the bigger man. Well, what about when the man is yeah, beating you across the, the face person. and clapping your girl's be. cheeks and you're a fucking cuck and you're saying you're the bigger man? You're not the fucking bigger man. I'm not going to be the devil that my enemy is. Like, cuck, you are the reason. You, saying, you are a cuck. You're, you're a cuckold. You are a cuck. You are a cuck. A real man, you are a fucking cuck. You are a fucking cuck. A man never makes excuses. A man is willing to be a fucking devil to defeat his enemy. If you don't defeat your enemy by any fucking means necessary, you are not a man. Have you read the Quran? Motherfucker, don't come here and bring religion to me because all you're doing is giving credence to the argument communists had made before that religion is a tool of the working... You're, you're using religion in the same way the ruling class does as a tool of the defense of the status quo and the ruling class. Oh, okay, let me, add another, let me add another point. So the other day you also said, like, that G was going to shoot down the plane of Nancy or whatever, and he didn't, you know, he... He proved that communism... And, 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 and don't... Hey, hey, it's none of our business. That's... Hey, that's none of our business. That's the Chinese public's business. By the way, the Chinese public was super fucking pissed about that. You take it up with them. It doesn't matter if some people are pissed. No, the, they, the sentiment was overwhelmingly one of disappointment and anger. At least on Chinese social media. Don't you think killing Nancy Pelosi would have started World War Three? I am not the Chinese government, you dumb fuck. Why are you trying to speak on behalf of the Chinese government? And you're you're assuming you know why. Hold on. You're assuming hey, dumb fuck. You are assuming you are assuming two things. One, you're assuming you know the reasons why the Chinese didn't shoot her plane down. It wasn't because they had some responsibility to the world or any of that cucked shit. It's because they have a longer, smarter strategy to bring down America. And they weren't prepared for a confrontation with the US at that time. The second thing yeah, actually the second thing exactly. The second thing, irrational. no, it's not because it's irrational. It's it, it's not because it's irrational and scary. It's because the Chinese have a much broader long-term strategy. Okay. The second thing is that Mao Zedong. Yeah, don't talk to me material. about don't talk to me about China and the Chinese when Mao Zedong was literally willing to sacrifice half of the Chinese population in a nuclear war for the victory of socialism. You want to deny that too? Like you were saying the other day, if everything has to end, so be it. Like it's better as something new. I don't know, dude. I just think that's Absolutely. like extremist. Yeah, yeah. The, there's the, because there's a difference between me and you. You would rather live as a slave. No, I than would die not. as a fucking I man. Rather, I would rather. I would cuck. Rather You'd rather be a cuck. You'd rather be a cuckold. I don't have any patience for cuckolds. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I guess. Good conversation. <laughs> yeah, bring that. See how far that Pat Sock Dem. By the way, do you wear glasses? No. Okay, well, you have the Pat Sock Dem mentality and see how far that takes you. And I'm sure your girl's cheating on you, so watch out for that. You have the mentality of a dude who's getting cheated I'm on. Single. Well, I hope you stay single, dude, because if you ever start dating anyone, they're going to cheat on you because you got that mentality where you're slow on the kill. 
And you don't have the aggression, you don't have the manhood, you don't have the pride to defend what's yours. And you're going to say, well, I'm going to be the bigger man. Let her go. You know, you got that mentality, dude. Good luck. All right. Good luck to you, too. Peace Eat out. or be eaten. That's the nature of this world. Eat or be eaten. No in between. I go, go read well, Jack London's book, The Call of the Wild. Go read, go read Call of the Wild by Jack London. You'll fucking understand this. That's the nature of this world. Dog eat dog. Eat or be eaten. You blink, you die. You blink, you submit. You become a slave. Master-slave dialectic. Alexander Kojev's lectures on Hegel's philosophy of history. Go read it. Master-slave dialectic. Master-slave dialectic. All right. I'll write it down. Go do your homework. The path you're going on is a path of cuckoldry. Dude, I just... I, I don't know. You really think that it should be that extreme? Like, it's literally 8 or 88, right? That's what you think? I don't know what that means, but yeah. Like, it's literally life or death. Like, I don't know. It is definitely life or death. Yeah. I mean, you're correct, but I don't know. Fuck. How, how old are you? 24. You're 24. This is your opportunity to turn your life around. You got a bad mentality on you, and you're, it's going to get you eaten in this life. So I'm being harsh on you. Take it as an opportunity to learn, because this is a brutal fucking world. And you have that mentality where you're saying, I'm going to be the bigger man, but I don't have the power to make anything of it. Without power, you can't be the bigger man. If you don't have the power, you don't got nothing. If you can't prove it, you don't got nothing. It's easy for a loser to be the bigger man. You understand what I mean? Kind of. <laughs> um, like, you think men should be aggressive and, like, if what? If someone hits on my girl, I'm supposed to, like, start fighting them? Like Absolutely! <laughs> Bro. Why? Doesn't that show that you're insecure? You gotta press them. You gotta press them. Absolutely. Yeah, you have to press them, like, back off my girl. But, like, you don't have to just go just straight scrapping. Like. Well, if it goes to that, you can't blink. If it goes to that, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, you can't get knocked out. I agree. You got to do what you got to do. But I don't know. I always feel like it takes a bigger man to stop a fight. No, it don't. One. No, it don't. That's, that's what every dude... Wow. Who, listen, because if you have no chance of winning and you're a loser, then it's only... Cow you're just hiding behind... The bigger man claim for your own cowardice. You have to prove yourself first. And and how do I prove myself? By w walking with your nuts hanging, proving yourself in this world. <laughs> proving you've got the fire in you and you've got the will to realize that fire. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree, man. You got to be confident but not like cocky i feel like sometimes i don't know Based. Some people all right the year is 1962 the, the year is 1962 you are defending the national honor of your country whether you're a cuban or you're a soviet and you're staring the imperialist machine in the face Viva Fidel. are you are you gonna back off like a bitch like khrushchev did Okay, let me tell you this. If a civil war starts in America and it's between Black Lives Matter and Ultra MAGA, I'm moving to China. If it's a civil war that's actually between a real, like, socialist front... That's my question. You didn't answer my question. You are following... Fight. You are going down the path of cuckoldry. If it's a co-opted war, I'm not going to fight. If it's a real war to liberate... If Khrushchev, yeah. if Khrushchev is confronting the Americans... And you're a Soviet, you're a, you're a Soviet KGB motherfucker. You're like a general. Mm -hmm. And you either press the button or surrender and submit to the Americans in a humiliating display of national humiliation. Which one do you do? Um, I don't think that either. Well, that. Cuckoldry. That's a cuck. That's a cuck speaking. That's a cuck speaking. You know about how he, he did a deal with America so that they would get rid of the nukes in Turkey, right? It don't matter because he blinked. 
I mean, but if he didn't blink, doesn't that mean the end of the whole world? No, it don't. Yeah, I do. What are you talking about? No, it doesn't mean the end of the whole the fucking world. Read what Mao said yes, about the nuclear... Does. No, read what Mao said about the nuclear yes, bomb does. being... A, it doesn't mean the end of the world, motherfucker. They yes, was not... How, okay, how does it mean the end of the world? How does it mean the end of the world? It means the end of capitalism. It means the end of the empire. It don't mean the end of the fucking no, it world. it means the end of everything. It only okay, explain few, how. Explain few, how. Explain how. There's been studies that say it only takes a few nukes um, to start a basically like polar shift or something and then we're all in an ice age and it's done for who like, cares it's an ice age who gives a fuck we've been through an ice age but that's literally like how many people you think would live no, like no one maybe probably, probably no half one. probably half at least it half would be at least you think four billion people would survive world war three i don't dumbass i'm talking about in the cuban missile crisis of 1962 I mean, are you a nuclear physicist? You don't... Why would I have to be a nuclear physicist to know that the whole world's not going to end? Because I'm... Well, you Mao literally said... Mao already talked about this. Mao said, the world's not going to end. We're going to take half of us. We're going to be gone. But we'll survive it. At least we have our honor and dignity. We'll survive it? How, how are you even sure? I mean... I don't know. Just take it up with Mao. Out. Take it up with Mao. 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 Yeah, I don't know if I agree with Mao. I think cockroaches will survive. And I th okay, then you listen. Br then you can put your glasses on, and you can go to your institution with your Pat sock dem. You can meet with Karl Popper, and you can meet with Lezhek Kolakowski, whoever that fucking guy is, and you can have your democratic, responsible socialism and be a cuckold for life. Okay. <laughs> So you want the irresponsible? You want uh, G to just nuke us right now? That's what you want? I didn't say that you shit. We're living in a different situation. Nuka, We're living in a different situation, motherfucker. What do you mean? It's, it's the same shit. It's not the same shit at all. Because the Chinese never promised they're going to go to war over Nancy Pelosi visiting. That was speculation by journalists. They never promised yeah. that. But if, if you're saying that Khrushchev shouldn't blink, then why should G? Why shouldn't she just because that was an with, actual right? military confrontation between the Soviet ships and the U.S. military. You don't think there's a military confrontary confrontation with? There's been a cold. You don't think there's been a cold war against China for however long? Can you read your name to me? You mean my real name? No, the display you have right now. Intergalactic Bolshevik. That's not what we see. Oh, fuck. I don't know what it is on, on Discord. Like, Bolshevik something? And Silverback Bolshevik or some crap. Well, it's qu close, but not quite that. What is it? I can't even see it. It's a name you've earned. Because you just said that a direct military confrontation between Soviet and U.S. vessels is the exact same thing as a fucking broad Cold War between the U.S. and China. Like, that's the most dumb shit I ever heard in my life. What do you mean? There was a cold... You're talking about the Cold War. No, I guess... No, I'm what not! I'm mean? talking about a direct hot, hot confrontation between the U.S. and the Soviet's uh, vessels. Right. Do you know what happened during the Cuban Missile Crisis? Um... I like I said I know like okay I, I'll walk you through let's just do Wikipedia Cuban Missile Crisis if that's not neutral Wikipedia? enough for you okay well, I'm gonna walk it through to you okay I don't fuck with Wikipedia but sure okay after much deliberation <laughs> later the day the U.S. Navy dropped a series of signaling depth charges on a Soviet submarine at the blockade line. And this actually was armed with a nuclear torpedo. A U-2 sp spy plane made an unauthorized overflight of the Soviet Union's far eastern coast. 
They scrambled MiG fighters. Shit got really hot. Okay. Yeah, they were spying. Look, TLDR, the Soviets insisted they're going to keep nukes on Cuba. The U.S. said, no, this is a red line. The Soviets blinked, and war was avoided, averted. Well, the Soviets didn't blink. They made, the Khrushchev made a deal with Kennedy. Why did Khrushchev remove- have to make a deal with Kennedy and not the reverse? Or Kennedy why, why wasn't it the Soviets? Kennedy. Why wasn't it the Soviets who started a Turkish missile crisis because of the Jupiter missiles in Turkey? You see, you see, you see who the big dog in this confrontation was. It was the U.S. The U.S. was the big dog. Absolutely was. The Soviets got bitched out. Everyone in history knows that. I mean, yeah, Khrushchev was a cuck. <laughs> But uh, I don't know, man. He played his own little strategical strategical game, and did what he thought was good. I guess maybe you're right. We should they should have just fucked up Washington D.C. I don't know. <laughs> but, um... Listen, you don't you don't you don't really understand the nature of this war, the nature of this world. You don't understand this is a world of black and white. Ones and zeros. Dog eat dog. <laughs> Ones and zeros. You think there's an in-between. You think there's room for nuance. That slowness you feel, that slowness you feel, that hesitation you have, that is the fucking reason the ruling class owns you. Then why didn't G just fucking blow up Pelosi? Because the Chinese have a fucking... Long-term strategy plan. That's why. Yeah, they have a long-term plan strategy. Exactly. It's not like 8 or 88. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not all or nothing. It's not Yes, it is, because when push comes to shove, the Chinese... When push comes to shove, the Chinese will press the red button. Thank you, MTF. When push comes to shove, the Chinese are going to press the red button. 1,000%. When push comes to shove, they will. I know. Probably. You're right. But don't you think they should let it pan out and see if maybe the people of America do something? No. To... No. Nobody's got to wait for nobody. But, I mean, then you start World War Three, and then that's the end of everything. And so, therefore, that's better than the same, like you said. If you... What, what is... What is the founding slogan of the U.S.? Give me liberty or give me death. Isn't that what it said? Um, yes. Okay. Well, that's the patriots of other countries believe in the same thing. Yeah, give me death. Not the whole entire population of the planet. Give me death. No, the whole thing. The whole thing. To the death. The whole thing. The planet doesn't exist. What planet? There's no such thing. I'm talking about the population that exists on the planet's crust. (laughs) If the population exists at the mercy of nukes, then that's just part of life. That's just part of life, dude. Human life isn't free. Human life isn't free. Freedom isn't free. You have to fight for this life. And unless you want to be a slave. I mean, yeah, I'd rather be dead than a slave. Or dead than... You know what? Listen, kid. I'm going to tell you this. You're 24 years old. You're talking like you're a confused Cartoon Network character who's, who's uh, got this mentality like, well, like, I don't know. And you, you don't know. You don't got your whole shit in order. You're exactly the type of person I was talking about earlier in the stream where you're waking up with bedhead hair. You're not showering. You don't even know what you're doing in life. You don't even have any direction. You don't have any purpose. You don't even know why you're here. You just seem like you stumbled in here without any mission, without any purpose. You got to get your shit in order because my patience is growing very thin with you, okay? You don't understand. This is ones and zeros, black and white. You're still searching for rooms of nuance that don't fucking exist. And you don't have an agenda, you don't have a prerogative, you don't have a, a mentality. I suggest, you know, I don't know if you've been to boot camp, something, I don't know if you've been been in the military, but that those things would be highly beneficial, at least lifestyle terms, 
because you seem to have this thing where you just think you can dwell in nuance and you can dwell in a question mark. Let me, if you dwell in a question mark, your balls are going to fall off. You understand? There's no such thing as dwelling in a question mark. Rather, dwelling in a period, an exclamation point, no room for commas, no room for question marks. I don't know, man. I don't want to see everybody die. That's all I'm saying. I want communism to happen, but I don't know how to make it. I don't know how we're going to make it. this shit. John Fuck. Mearsheimer had some good takes about the only way to keep the U.S. from toppling your regime is to have nukes. You know what? Here's, here's a problem. Everybody doesn't exist. You're trying to say, I don't want to see everybody. You take, you're taking everything for granted. You're taking everything that matters for granted. You don't, you don't have the ethical... You need, to understand, you need to study Hegel. There's no ethical reality outside of the state. There's no such thing as a planet. There's no such thing as a population. You don't have any ethical relationship, obligation, or anything in relation to any of that outside of an actual determinate state or country or even party. That You're talking about nothing. Pause, talking about, you I want to save the planet. That, that planet doesn't fucking exist. You, you are grounded in a specific relationship with a specific state, or a specific party, or a specific something, something determinate and real, could even be a fucking mm -hmm. ancient brotherhood, order of assassins, whatever the fuck you want it to be, it's got to be something determinate. When you sit here and you talk about some indeterminate planet and some indeterminate people, like we have any obligation to that whatsoever, you're talking fucking nonsense. The planet doesn't exist, and no global population exists. Every global population has a determinate reality. We are all enmeshed in that determinate reality. The only universal reality is through the particular. Um, so you have this mentality. So, so, so you're saying somebody comes, okay. somebody <clears throat> comes, starts mm -hmm. making you look like a bitch in front of your girl. Oh my god! Right, no, no, right in front I... of you, and then you say, "Because okay. of the planet, I'm gonna be a bigger man." Who's the planet, motherfucker? You got your own house Dude. to look over, you look after. You are just being a slave. Not, that's what the elites and the an globalists e want us I'm to be. That's exactly what the globalists, that's exactly where the globalists want us. They want us to be moral yeah, slaves. They want us to be morally motivated slaves to this fake abstraction of the planet and I the human population. That. There's no moral reality. That. There's no morality. You are motivated by morality. You are a moral idiot. You are a universal moralist. That's your problem. So, according to you, Marxist Leninists do not run on any moral values. They just run on what is real. Just... Every morality, Marxist Leninists are grounded in a morality in which the moral aesthetic object is the nuclear bomb. The moral aesthetic object is the nuclear bomb? Are you sure you're a Absolutely. communist or like a anarchist? I'm a communist with a capital C. And the object sure of our morality, the object of our morality is the power of the state. The power of the state is the nuclear bomb. We have no moral agency outside of state power. We have no moral agency or moral reality outside of the power of a collective political reality that is enforced. We have no reality outside of that. The party. There's no reality outside of that. You can't pretend what like party? you're a moral fucking person when your morality is not grounded. Your morality is grounded in thin air. You have a thin air morality. No, my morality is based on like... Based on what? My morality is based on economics. Political economics. What, what, what is that? Give me... What is, what is that in real life? A moral world is a communist world, is a world where, is a socialist world. So something world, that doesn't exist. Your morality is based on something that doesn't exist. Yeah, it does. In Cuba, in China. So your morality is based on the Cuban state and the Chinese state. So go move there and be a yes. moral subject.
Dude, that's literally the argument of the conservative. I am a asshole. conservative. I am a conservative. Oh, go move, move to Cuba. Go move to Cuba America's and go move to China world. and be a more. Move you are an immoral China. subject. You are an immoral subject. You're saying your morality is. You're saying, your morality, you're saying your morality is. You're saying. You're saying your morality is founded upon the Cuban state and the Chinese state. But you're not living in those states, so you have no way of exercising any moral agency. You're not exercising your duty towards those states in any kind of fucking way. So go fucking move there or become a spy of those countries or something. But until what? then, you are no, an immoral my person. My duty as a citizen of America is to make America go towards what they are. They are the symbol they are what represents today what so something that doesn't be. exist so and you're so, talking about a hypothetical here, you're talking about something that doesn't exist you are talking about something that doesn't exist cuba. you are talking about something that if doesn't everyone exist everyone who's a revolutionary just goes to cuba then what are we gonna do? nothing's gonna change here right if every person who's like hey, oh hey silver cup not what i silver want cup. so i'm silver gonna leave. Cup. listen mention not gonna do anything menshevik menshevik you morality your morality <laughs> Your morality is based on thin air. My morality, like I just told you, is based on political economics. Based on thin air. Based political on economic. thin air. Based on thin air. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What do you mean? How is Because Cuba it doesn't exist. Air? You're saying, I have an ideal that America will become like Cuba. Why the fuck will America become like Cuba, by the way? It's stupid. It's fucking stupid. You, why would because America become like why? Cuba? That's Why fucking stupid. Socialist? Why wouldn't we become socialist? What do you mean? You think Cuban socialism is, is all socialism? What? It's socialism with Cuban characteristics. Or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't care. It's the people in power. Dude, you, you <laughs> are you basing about? your morality on something that doesn't exist. You're saying, I want America to be like Cuba. Well, America's not like Cuba. Therefore, the object of your morality doesn't exist. Yeah, but don't you know that what is unreal can become real just like what is real can become unreal? Well, until it does, you are an just, immoral Just because person. it doesn't exist doesn't mean I shouldn't be fighting to make it happen. You're a Marxist-Leninist. I, I want to make the reality party. something in my You're imagination. Right? My morality is, is based on my imagination. My morality is, is based on... party in office. My morality is based on something no. in my imagination. That's what you're saying. No, no one gives a fuck about your imagination. My imagination. All right, sing with me. Silver cuck, silver cuck, silver cuck. Sing with me. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. Imagine all the people living in harmony. Yeah. Woo you may say that I'm a dreamer. I'm not going to say I'm the only one. I am imagining my morality. Imagine. Imagine if we were like Cuba. Imagine. Only pot you should Thank you, Rock Dude, that doesn't mean that, like, that's not true. Like, yeah, I get how that's like a... Reject the like kind of dude, you're a, a you're a lib. Liberal. You're a fucking lib, dude. You a are soy a lib. liberal thing, but that's also true. Like, yeah, we have to use our imagination. Fuck no, People we don't. don't. You are a lib, dude. You are a lib. That's disgusting. I spit I'm on not that a claim. Lib. I've I spit on that voted, claim. I've never voted Democrat. Or I don't Republican. care. I spit on your liberalism. I spit party. on your liberalism. I spit on your liberalism. How is someone who has only voted for third party a liberal? Because you are living in la-la land and fairy tale land instead of the real world. I don't live in goddamn la-la land, son. Yes, you do. You're imagining. You're, more, you're saying your morality is based on something you imagine? That's the most no, cuck shit I'm I've ever not. seen. No, I'm not. I'm saying we need to imagine what America could be. Who the fuck is we? Be. Who's we? Who's we? Americans need to imagine what America what? could be. Well, they're not. Well, they're not. So what are you going to do about it? To make well, they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not, they're not going to imagine anything. What are you going to do about it? They're not going to do anything. So then why aren't you that cynical nihilist person like you claim to hate? We're not going to do anything. You're not that then? You just said, oh, hey, we're not hey, going to do Hey, silver, silver cuck. Do what? you consider yourself a stupid, imprecise, reckless idiot? No. Do you? So why did you translate 
Americans are not going to imagine any alternatives to we're not going to do anything. Isn't that imprecise as a translation? If we can't even begin to imagine it, how could we begin to act? Or if we can't Maybe by actually understanding the fucking world you live in with sober senses, like the Communist Party said, you dumb fuck. Sorry, what's your point? Do, I, do you want me to repeat myself? Senses? Yeah, I didn't get all of that. Understanding the actual world you live in with sober senses, like the Communist Party, uh, the Communist Manifesto said. Mm hmm. And so. So that has nothing to do with imagining a different world or imagining anything. You, you basically think that. How do you think that socialism is going to happen in America then? It's going to be like a civil war. It's already happened. It's already happened. Oh my god, bro. How how is the people become in control of the economy? How's that? That's not what I said, is it? That's what socialism is. So no. What do you mean? Socialism is yeah, already they're... a reality. So you don't have to make it a reality or imagine it into being a reality. No, no, no. socialism is a economic is a political economic system in which the people are in charge of the economy. And therefore, the politics and the superstructure. Okay, what did They're Marx in control say? of the base. What? What did Marx say? About what? <laughs> what do you mean? Communism. Said a lot of shit. What did Marx say about say communism? About? How did he define it? What did Marx it? say about communism? How did, yeah, he, define how did he define it? it? Like I just said, with the okay. infrastructure. Citation? Communism is a system. Well, okay. let's start with Where did he say that? First. Where did he say that? Oh my god. You want me to go look this shit up and waste time? I can send it in the Discord later. But he says the infrastructure, this what we live in is the system, and the system is the relate the dialectic relationship between the infrastructure and the superstructure, the economy. Okay, so this is a direct quotation from Karl Marx. The, okay. Communism for us is not a state of affairs which is to be established or an ideal to which reality will have to adjust itself, we call communism the real movement which sublates the present state of things. The conditions of this movement result from the premises now in existence. Yes, but that's very vague. I mean, he also means abolishing private property. So when he says the premises he are now in existence... The abolishment. No, huh? he doesn't say any of that, you dumb fuck. Where does he say all of that? The Communist Manifesto. What are you talking about? He says the abolishment of private property. Have you even what read else? the Manifesto? What else does he say? Have you even read the Manifesto? Yes, I have. What else did you say besides abolish private property? I don't know. I'd have to go get and look at it. It's at the end of chapter two. You have a computer. Look it up. It's the last thing he says in chapter two, I'm pretty sure. That's not but that's generally that's, this is what communism will look like. That's what he said. Nope, they did not say that at all. They said the said aim in, of in the communists. Places. They said the aim, the general aim of the communists is the elimination oh. of private property. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, the yeah. aim, the end goal, or the reality of the system. No, yeah, there's no, no more they didn't talk. Property. Dude, they did not. You are a retard. You are re mentally retarded. They never spoke about a fucking system huh. ever. They never spoke about a system. You are mentally yeah, retarded. Did. You are picking your nose and picking your boogers while you're playing with Legos as a 24-year-old man, and there's boogers all over your Legos, and you don't shower, you lack hygiene, and you're fucking sitting here yeah, taking like all no these liberties... Imagining things Marx and Engels said that they've never fucking said, but because of your wild imagination playing Legos with boogers on your Legos, you're imagining that they've said things they have never actually fucking said, but you've taken liberties with your sweaty, disgusting, unshowered, and unkempt self, smelly, playing with imagineering Legos as a 24-year-old man, saying things that Marx and Engels have never actually said, but you just decided to run with shit that, oh, yeah, they must have been talking talking about a different system where they're gonna build a different system and it's gonna be like this oh, yeah. and it's gonna be like this Dude, where this is gonna be the case and i don't have any primary sources but my legos i, I just gotta make sense to me that this would be the case 
Can I ask you a question? Is Did you shower today? Before? Did you shower today? Yes. And I worked out and I ate right. So you you don't sound like you showered today. Uh, I did really quickly just to get the sweat off. I didn't like shower for very long. But why does that matter, dude? Because marks and angles have, the they never designed any alternative. Run. They have never You're imagined an alternative right. system. They never designed or imagined any alternative system. Every hypothetical they have given about what a communist is. Answer my is question: Is capitalism a system of economics and a political economical system? Is it? What's the system? Is capitalism a political economic system? What is the system? What I just said, it is the relationship between the infrastructure and the superstructure. The dialectic relationship between the infrastructure and the superstructure. You mean the of base society. and the superstructure? Infrastructure and base are synonymous. I've never heard that. Yeah, well, you're not that educated. You don't know everything. Where did wh what translations say infrastructure? Now I'm curious. Maybe they they exist. I've never heard that. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Well, the specific relationship between the base and the superstructure across any given few decades of what we call capitalism has never taken the form of a single system. So no, you're wrong. Political systems have changed. Political mm -hmm. superstructural no, realities haven't. have rapidly evolved and changed no, and transformed. Haven't. So no, you're wrong. No, they haven't. What Marx okay. and Lenin so we live in the same, generally still, speaking, we live in the same political system that we did in 1820. That's what you're saying. Um, Where the owners are capitalists and the workers... Yeah, the except that's an abstraction. That's an abstraction. That's an that's an abstraction. That's an abstraction yeah, we still live in that. What do you mean, bro? Okay, we still live in a system. We, 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 still live, we still live in a society where people wear shoes. So it's the same system, right? What? Dude, come on. We're trying to like elevate the conversation, right? Not like just I'm trying to elevate it too. Shit. You cannot set up some abstraction. You can't just create some fucking abstraction and then claim that this is the essence of the system, an actual concrete reality, and then say nothing has changed because this abstraction uh, hasn't changed. Well, of course no, it hasn't changed dude, because it's a fucking abstraction. It can't change if it's a fucking abstraction. No, it's different, but it's still cap. It's still imperialism. It's different, though. What do you so mean? do you think... So let me get this straight. Do you think right. the essence of a political economic system can somehow exist at the expense of its various differences and its very de various determinate realities and manifestations. Whoa, 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 hold on. You gotta repeat that. I didn't hear shit. Okay, so you're trying to say that there's some underlying essence that manages to exist even at the expense of the various mm -hmm. determinations. So the system we uh, live in today is the same as the one in 1820, and there are differences, but those differences have nothing to do with the essence. Basic. I mean, yeah. Okay, do you do you know what metaphysics is? Because that's a fucking metaphysical view. You dumb, undialectical, unwashed, disgusting fuck who doesn't shower. How is that metaphys? I don't think you know. Because what according to dialectics, you dumb fuck, there are no fixed realities whatsoever. Every reality is suspended in the process of its determined and determinate development. There is no fucking essence. There's no metaphysical fixed essence that just exists somewhere in which differences are just these superfluous things. No. Uh, reality is at the level of determination. Let me destroy your argument in like five seconds. Okay, Haas, are you, are you the person that you were when you were ten years old? Listen, that is, again, a metaphysical view. No, In what sense? In what question. sense? Are In what sense? No, no. Person? You're mistaking from a quantum physics perspective, I'm not. From a physics perspective, I'm not, retard. From a colloquial social cultural perspective, I am. But you from a are. physics... Exactly. From a, from a physics... Retard! Retard! Shut the fuck up! From a physics perspective, I'm not. From a physics perspective, I'm not. From a social perspective, I am. No, from a... So you're confusing two things. You're confusing two things. 
out of convenience no no only out of convenience retard 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 only out of convenience do you say you're the same person but in physical reality in actual physical reality of course you're not the same you're very different than you were then biologically and everything yet everything that you are right now from a physics perspective i'm not even the same from a physics perspective i am not even the same as i was 10 seconds ago from a physics perspective we say this out of convenience for purposes of recording memory sociality culture whatever things oh like that but in physics and actual physical reality it's not the case so you think every five seconds we have to rename the moon because now it's a new thing? No, like, dude. Re no retard. But when we're talking about such something That's so... When we are talking about something so vastly different as the nature of the world we live in compared to in 1820, yes, we do have to rename a lot of shit. We don't need to name this socialism as if that isn't confusing people on what the solution is. Okay, which it's people does it confuse? Socialism. Which people doesn't? Which people doesn't confuse? Because can you tell them to form a Congo line from here to California, and they can all take turns sucking my cock? Whoever that actually confuses, because I have a, I just have such an inkling that the only fucking people that confuses are intellectual parasites such as yourself who don't proceed according to an understanding of reality based on common sense, but based on academically and abstractly contrived, glasses-wearing, cuckold vision of the world, where everything has to be according to precise definitions, and Dude, actually, socialism is a stateless classes. No, I you cuck. I don't have patience for you, scum. You can all suck my cock. I don't care if it confuses you. You're, pro you're projecting, you're projecting your intel, you're projecting your scum-like intellectualizing position onto the masses. Our brains has been going down. I don't know if you've noticed, but people are not that smart and they need. I actually think the average person is way smarter than you. I I, the average person understands what I'm saying. Retards like you don't. It's literally showing that our brains have been shrinking in America. It's not even a silver cook. I think you're mentally retarded. Okay, cool. You're mouthing off about brains and shit that is completely irrelevant. Yeah, no, it's not irrelevant. It's yeah, it's completely saying. speculative. Oh, it's, it's completely speculative. Like, it's completely... You don't, no one knows how the brain works, so don't fucking talk to me about the brain like it's relevant. Like, like dude, why, why would you even say that we're socialists? We're not socialists. We're, the people are not in power. Like, what... Why would because, you Because because that? socialism isn't a fucking ideal, retard. It's a fucking mode of production. Exactly. And are we doing the socialist mode of production where the people are in power and the people have the control of the means of production? Is that where we're at? That's the political no. form. That's political, you fucking no, idiot. No, that's the economic form. Having control of the means of production? What no, it's about? not, that's you dumb fuck. You can't exercise control except by political policy. Economically, yes, technically the people yeah. are controlling it through a fucking well, consumer economy well, based on data. That's why the system is Marxist system is political economics. Not can you can you listen, you mouth off like a like a loose mouthed cunt who can't shut your fucking mouth. The minute I say something, you just interrupt me, squealing like a fucking pig, because you can't fathom the fucking idea that someone has <laughs> Someone actually knows more than you about this topic, and it's more complicated than can be afforded, according to your midwit retard sense of dogmatism that is unjustified by any real-world achievements at all. You have no right to be dogmatic about any of this, because you have nothing to show for it. You can't shut the fuck up. You squ <laughs> That's ridiculous! You can't shut the fuck up and just listen. Listen and expect the possibility you are wrong about everything. Because guess what? You have never had anything to show for any success whatsoever. You're telling me, and shut your fucking mouth, how can you say we live in socialism? Well, I'll tell you. History does not proceed according to discrete events in which one mode of production or one new era of history simply happens, done and done, with all of its consequences and ramifications having already occurred, and that's that and that's it. That's not how it fucking works. When we name the fact 
fact that we have entered into a qualitatively new mode of production, we're not saying that its political consequences have been realized or that its superstructural consequences have been realized or even that its movemental consequences have been realized in terms of the formation of a mass movement. All we are saying is that something has fundamentally changed at the most base level of the relations of production at the economic base, which is actually responsible for the unfolding of history since then. And, and here and now, here and fucking now, we're saying we live in socialism, okay. not because we're so, tying our, shut the fuck up, you stupid fuck, you are so incompetent, you lack such, you lack such rudimentary skills of baseline human self-control, that you cannot even shut your cunt, retard fucking mouth, for less than five fucking seconds, <laughs> before mouthing off, to squeal your fucking ideological theoretical prejudice, uh, which again, uh, it's a, it's a uh, prejudice uh, that is fundamentally unjustified by any actual achievements in the real world, which makes it even more fucking pathetic. So sit the fuck down and shut your fucking mouth. When we say that we are living in socialism, we are not, we're not describing something from a distance passively. Uh, and saying that he he literally moans like a fucking bitch getting fucked in their fucking pussy. You are literally moaning like your girl is getting dicked down by a dude with a twelve inch cock. You can't shut the fuck up and have the minimum of fucking self control. He literally can't shut the fuck up, and I have to fucking mute him. When we say that we are living in socialism, we are saying that we're living in socialism not as a passive observer uninvolved in the actual reality, but as someone who has actually committed and made the commitment discursively and through the signifier itself that, that names the fact that we live in socialism, that this has consequences for the superstructure. It principally has consequences for the superstructure in the form of a communist party or a political movement, which is receiving the calling of this new era by grounding it and giving expression to it in cultural, ideological, theoretically, and most importantly, in political terms. Now, the difference between saying we live in socialism and socialism is something in my imagination that I want to realize is that we're saying that the actual material substance of our goals has already been accomplished. It is no different than when Marx and Engels said things like socialism was inevitable. Or it's no different than when Marx said things like communism is nothing more than the real movement, the real movement whose premises are now in existence. We are trying to contrast our position with the voluntaristic and utopian one, according to which we have some abstract morality that that is grounded in thin air that we're going to apply to reality at the expense of reality um and everyone has to listen to us out of morality no we're saying our aim our position our socialism is grounded in actual reality and premises now in existence it's based in determinate material reality it's already fucking happened we're not gonna fucking sit here and hold people hostage and blackmail them and say things like you should listen to my prescription it's more moral that we said no that's the fucking great reset mentality they're trying to fucking push and you don't understand how historical change actually happens historical change does not fucking happen when someone voluntarily decides that we're just gonna radically change the world in some kind of way that conforms to our moral view. That's not how it fucking works. Change happens when you insist upon the same. Why? Because you don't actually know the world we live in. If you committed yourself to the scientific investigation of actually understanding the world you dwell within and know, that very knowledge would forebode a fundamental transformation already, not only already happening, but having already happened. You have to have a dialectical rather than metaphysical view to understand this. Now I'll unmute this squealing retard pig. Um. Okay, so the U.S. has the same political economic system as Cuba. Is that what you're saying? Retarded Burger King, man, that marvel, let me, man, man. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Ding, brother, done, ding, brother, done, ding, brother, done, ding, brother, done. Retarded Burger King, he's a retard, can't even think, man. He's a retarded Anglo box, he has the retarded Anglo box. Man.
you're a retarded Burger King is a retard Get him in under He will you try the lecture and educate him He is gonna have the angle box Ain't that a dang thing better than One-sided thinking thing better than One-sided thinking angle box He's a retarded, retarded Burger King With a purple man, 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 man. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Ding better than Ding better than Ding better than Ding better than So you didn't listen to anything I said, and all you did was jump to the conclusion in your head, ignoring everything I said in the actual development of a novel thought. You foreclosed the possibility of that development on your part, and you just said, I'm just going to get him with this. It's either A or B. It's either this or that. And if it's this, then that means A equals B. So he, this is illogical, clearly. I really, I already get, you already, right. you already came to this your is, conclusion before you listened to anything I said. I mean, you're, 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 you're being, basically being rhetorical. Is that what you're saying? Like that you're trying to say that like the fucked up version of socialism or what they make socialism out don't of live in a are. finished I'll system retard we I'll don't live in a finished system we live in a stage of transition does that make sense to you we are in a period of transition we don't fucking live in some finished system that that can exist and reproduce itself for all eternity there's no discrete system that is interchangeable with cuba's system or this system none of these systems actually exist these are forms these are determinations that are suspended in the process of their development you are stuck in the anglo box where you think every determination of reality is itself some kind of essentiality that you can dogmatically abstract from its determination again a determination suspended in the process of development and made into a thing of pure thought that you're going to apply trans historically so much so that you're going to say stupid fucking things like we live in the same system that we did in 1820 a stupid mindless undialectical fucking thing to say you don't name understand dialectics. You don't understand dialectics. You don't understand dialectics. You don't understand dialectics. If the character may have changed, doesn't mean it doesn't mean that we it's not the same mode of economics. Exploitation no, of No, it's man by not man. it's not what is the essentiality of the exploitation of man by man? How do you establish that as the essential reality of something? Without without fucking committing the crime of metaphysics. Because you think exploitation is morally objectionable, you have metaphysically established the fact that we still have the exploitation of man by man as the essential reality of the thing itself. That is what you call metaphysics. What do you mean? Do we live in a system where there, the main mode of, of, of economic... Uh, movement is not the exploitation of man by man. Is that the same as 1860? I'm not saying it's the exact same system. In you are confusing socialist popular rhetoric for a scientific understanding of a mode of production. This rhetoric about exploitation of man by man, these are all simplifications that were used to popularize the ideas of socialism. You are not you are you are elevating that to a trans historical metaphysical essence that can be applied across all time periods. You are a fundamentally stupid fucking person. You are fundamentally a stupid person. Fidel, actually. I mean you're saying Fidel Castro is stupid or something. So I'm just gonna look You know what? If you take Fidel's rhetoric and assume that's the same as Marxist theory, you are mentally retarded. And I have no problem saying that. It's not Marxist theory, but was Fidel Castro a Marxist-Leninist or not? Did other people not add to the theory? Or are you, do you not call is, yourself Is Marxism-Leninism peace, land, and bread? That's the slogan of the October Revolution. So what you're talking about is also a slogan, retard. It's also a slogan. No, it's not. Is it yes, it is. Violence? Yes, it is. Because the final dissolution of us of a, of the exploitation of man by man is something that's expected to happen very gradually mm -hmm. over the course of of at least several decades. But now it seems centuries, even after the consolidation of the proletarian dictatorship and the consolidation of a socialist mode of production. 
So yes, it's a fucking slogan. It has nothing to do with the immediate reality of the qualitative change from a capitalist mode of production to a socialist one. Capitalism. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. Well, it's because you're a pat... So Why are you even a socialist, by the way? Because I want... Why do you? Why did you adopt this like failed academic ideology that's like never been successful in America? Like, there's no mass movement; it's not successful. Like, why do you even identify mm -hmm. with this? Aren't you a loser? I feel like you're a loser. I mean, a lot of people probably wouldn't say you're wrong. I don't get along with everyone. Um, what do you? My dad is a Marxist Leninist as well. He's been studying it for like. 40 years. Don't, don't bring your don't bring your family into this cuz uh yeah, there's nothing to do I'm with not this. I'm going to. <laughs> well, I mean, you asked me why I am. So, because of my education, my upbringing, my socialization. Well, I, I just I just want you to know that I does it make you happy personally cuz I hope it does that cuz it's not doing anything else. It's not like contributing to anything in the real world mm -hmm. at all. It's not doing anything in terms of like even spreading a message that's successful, like the bare minimum thing. All it's fucking doing is, is it, making you cope with reality. And and it just it's no different than like adopting a cult. You know, there's no difference. You're, all you're pretty much doing is like adopting a copium strategy with like how to navigate the various political discourses you find yourself in. Um We definitely do use things to cop out sometimes. I'm not saying maybe I don't, but uh Are you happy? Are you a happy communist? It's you know what's beautiful? You know what's beautiful? I don't have to be happy. All I have to do is be successful at what I'm doing. Mm hmm Well, I mean, you, what, you, you don't care if you're depressed as long as you're no, successful? No, I don't. I don't. Exactly. But, dude, that's not good for you, man. It don't gotta be good for me. It ain't all about me. But it's also about you. And what's good for you is good for everyone. Your family I, I am, want to I am see one you person. I am one person. I am one person. In the midst of eight, I'm one person in the midst of eight billion, in the midst of family? hundreds of billions who have existed across history. You don't have a family. What does that got to do with anything? That I doubt your family would want you putting your success over your like mental stability. What is mental stability? That don't exist. You that none of that exists. What do you mean? My mental stability? What is that? Like having regular levels of sadness and happiness and not being like bipolar or depressed or whatever. What do you mean? That's the, so that's yeah, that sounds that sounds like an excuse to be a cuck who never goes beyond the bounds of where they already are because I want to regulate myself. What do you mean you want to regulate yourself? First, first get successful in life, then regulate mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Get the success, and then and then you can worry about being happy. And that's your argument. Yes. Yeah. I mean, anyway, how the hell did we get to this? What does this have to do with anything? I'm so confused. Uh, anyway. Um. See if I had anything else that I wanted to say. I can't remember. Um. Hey, how come you don't like wave that knife around anymore? Because I didn't bring it with me. Anything else? Uh, is there anything else? Well, I don't really care about this, but like, you're a Muslim, right? Depends who's asking. Mm, just a regular person? No. Are you a Muslim? No. Ain't your business. So you're going to, oh, what about the Quran says this? 
Don't don't be throwing don't be uh holding that Quran over my head you mean it ain't when you're not even a Muslim. The Quran is a part of human history, just like the Bible, just like the Torah. It doesn't mean we can't read it just because we don't we're not like believers. You can you or... can talk to me about Islam when yeah, you haven't not? only when you have not only read a book, but you've been a part of a culture, you've been a part of a family, you've been a part of a community, and you've been part of a way of life. That makes you different from everybody else. So don't fucking sit here and talk to me about what it means to be a Muslim. Ah, you're not a real Muslim. Don't be talking to me about any of that fucking bullshit because you don't understand any of it. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna say you're not a real Muslim. Like, I completely respect your religious beliefs. You can believe whatever you want to believe in. Scientology. I don't care. Fucking. I was just gonna bring more up the uh, the point of like, if you believe. That God created the universe, right? Then isn't that uh, contrary to materialism? Have you have you uh, heard about what I already said about this? Um, I can't remember. Oh, so you, so you didn't even bother to like. You know, uh, try and no, research what I I've already said. Bob. So, so, so You're what? So, answer. since since so many people in my audience have already heard me re uh, answer yeah, this, you don't even have to answer. I don't care. But feel free if you want to. Otherwise, good chat. You are destined for cuckoldry. That's what I'm warning you. You're destined for cuckoldry. And good luck, good luck with your Pat Sock Dem way of life, but it will lead to cuckoldry. And and when it happens, I want you to think of my face. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, man. Uh, I got no hate, no fucking nothing like that towards you. Keep doing what you're doing. Peace out. Shut the fuck up. I'm not being friendly with nobody. I don't give a fuck. Cruelty. Because because of that dude, we're not going to be able to get into uh, our segment.